Hi Tobies, how are you? I love you. Hey Peaky people, uh, today we're going to be going to the vet. Uh, Pecan's not feeling great. So her symptoms are, uh, she's crying when she's peeing. And she just seems very uncomfortable. And not being as active or as hungry as usual. So I'm quite worried about her. She does have horrible arthritis in her back end, which we've never had an x-ray to see how it looks. So we're going to do an x-ray today because I want to see what's causing her the problem. So best case scenario is she has a UTI, so just needs some antibiotics. Worst case is going to be a stone. So I'm honestly terrified if she'll have a stone because of how much she's crying when she pees and it seems very uncomfortable. She could possibly have a stone just based off of her age and her arthritis so not being able to empty her bladder properly like she always used to be able to. So we're gonna find out. I'm very very worried because she is seven years old so if it's not a stone she can pass surgeries out of the question. So it's really terrifying to think about, but we're going today to get checked, and I'll let you guys know what's going on. I love you. Hey, piggy people. So we are back from the vet. We had a very expensive vet trip. A couple of pigs had went, but anyway, this is about pecan. She got an x-ray and unfortunately the x-ray shows she has a huge bladder stone. I will show you a picture here. So Pecan is 7 years old. She has di digestive issues as you guys all know. She is not a good candidate for surgery. I can't see that stone ever being able to pass in a million years. So, it is a crap sandwich. Pecan's going to be essentially on palliative care, so end of life care. As long as she's comfortable, she'll be kept around. And as soon as she can't be kept comfortable, um, I'll have to say goodbye. This year has been tough. So she's on um, pain meds and she has her digestive meds as usual. And we also have her on antibiotics. So we're going to see how that does to keep her comfort levels. So I really don't know. Um, I think I'm going to stop separating her at night because, you know, her time is ticking away, so I think I just would like her to stay with her friends as long as possible. So I was keeping her at in her own area at night because was that like three months ago she had been knocked onto her back and I didn't find her till morning. But I think since it hasn't happened again during the day, and then I have the little spy camera set up, I'll just if I wake up in the middle of the night just do a check on that but I think it's more important now that she gets to stay with her friends for as long as she can it seems really unfair that at seven years old after all the stuff that she's uh, been through and fought through with bloat and her digestive problems that now she has to deal with a bladder stone and that that's going to be what takes her out. So, um, obviously I'm heartbroken. I've had her for six and a half years. She's the sweetest pig ever. I have a very special bond with Butter Pecan. And I don't know what it will be like without her. So anyway guys, so I'll talk to you later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.
Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!